Hello everyone, welcome to China's incredible NEV new energy vehicles. I'm Alex and have been a driver for 36 years. And as a person that's been to 107 countries, when I came to China, I discovered things were very different. I realized that one of the things that was very different on the streets here is that there are a lot of new energy vehicles. I'm hearing approximately 16.2 million new energy vehicles just here in China alone. In this first episode, we will focus on the export of China's new energy vehicles. So fasten your seatbelts and let's get ready to go. Of course, in the international market, the competition of the new energy vehicle is fierce. Names like Tesla, Volkswagen, BMW, Volvo, Toyota, Hyundai and other brands have divided up a lot of the market. We need to refer to the statistics to figure out whether China's new energy vehicle companies can be a bigger share of the cake or not. China has exceeded Japan and, be wow. and is becoming uh, the, the biggest export country uh, for uh, automotive uh, in the world, uh, especially in, this, uh, in the first half of this year. And China has uh, exported over 2 million and uh, 340,000 vehicles to the global market. And do we know who's, what region is buying these? So those are the Southeast Asia. Um, Thailand. Uh, yeah, Thailand. And, yeah, or, uh, and the other one is uh, the kind of Middle East. And the other kind is uh, uh, pretty new, uh, like the European mm -hmm. and Australia. China has been exported like over mm, 340,000 vehicles to Russia and more than 100,000 vehicles to like Britain and uh, Belgium. The biggest contributor of that number could be the, the new energy vehicle, right. which is over 810,000 um, vehicles. Wow. Well, we believe that there are over 30% um, new vehicles, uh, which are uh, level two uh, intelligent uh, vehicles. Uh, one of the biggest problem is there are, just as you said, there are different uh, regulations, policies, and uh, standards uh, in different area, different countries. So uh, um, what, uh, what we have been uh, always doing is uh, just as a, like a third party uh, expert, mm -hmm. uh, on one hand, uh, we keep uh, working for the government to research on the standards and policies and regulations. And on the other hand, we, we help the, the, the vehicle producers to, uh, to upgrade their uh, products. Uh, we released uh, um, kind of the, the, the world's first uh, third party index wow. for intelligent vehicles. Um, that, uh, that helps the, the, the Chinese uh, companies to be more um, competitive in the global market. In 2022, 10 million new energy vehicles were sold globally, of which 60% were sold right here in China. Well, what does that say to us? China is an incredible new force in new energy vehicles and can no longer be neglected. But it goes deeper than that. When you have petroleum and oil companies that are also involved in this industry, well, the gas, the oil, the, this all powers normal automotive cars that are being produced. And that's why we're seeing such low numbers of compatibility or people changing into these new energy vehicles it might not be in the best interest of their shareholders and oil companies that have been racking in billions here definitely do not have the motivation to go to new energy vehicles. As bizarre as it sounds and maybe as of upsetting that it sounds, when you have a country that is getting behind an industry, getting behind its developers, investing in the future for its people, knowing that it's making a change in this world, well, the blueprint is definitely being laid down here in China. 